Hi everyone, it's Kim Spank Plus YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Jamie House Play Rain's videos for season 2021. If you are returning to Kim Spank Plus, welcome. Like, comment if you're new to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, how I do this is simple. I talk about the stats, go through the range at 10, I'll let you guys have your say as well. Played eight games. Now, after the Eagles game, he got injured. So he came back against West Coast in Melbourne, played from here to the Essen game. Um, so at the first game, thirteen disposals, six marks, three tackles. The Carlton game, twenty-two disposals, six marks, three tackles. Twenty-two disposals in the goal against the Lions. Eight marks, seven tackles. The Giants game, 20 disposals, six marks. The West Coast game got injured, two disposals, one mark, and one tackle, which I'm not going to count. You know, I'm not going to penalise him for that. And the Eagles game, the first game back, played really well 24 disposals and 10 marks. And the Hawks, 16 disposals, five marks, and three tackles. And the Essen game, 20 disposals, four marks and two tackles. Um, compared to that, it's not his fault being injured. It was just unfortunate that he got injured. Um, I think he was missed. If I can say that. I think he placed 20 games. I think, yeah, we win more than we lose. Um, on top of that, so uh, he's out of eight games compared to four last year. Kicked a goal, 17.4 disposals per game. Five point eight marks per game compared to six point five. So down on those two. Um, tackles 2.4 compared to 2.0, 4.3 compared to 6.3 rebounds. 50. Um, so for that, I think for the amount of games like he's missed, I'm not going to be punished him for that. I think it's a you know really decent game. I think he's played well. I think he's done what he needs to, and. I think for next year, I think keeping for one more year, I think he's got plenty more and see how he goes because I think you can see on what the improvement is um, as well on top of that. I think he's had a decent year compared to the injury um, and you don't want to get hurt. Um, I thought it might have been the end of him to be honest. Um, but he always fights hard and I'm pretty sure he would have more than what he did, surely. So, how do I rank him out of 10? I'll give him a 6. The reason why, because he was injured. Right, he would have played more. So, it's not like it's in the world. It's the fact that he got injured. Um, other than that, like... He can kick a goal too as well. Like, he, he loves a goal. But the improvements for next year, I think just play consistent footy. I think keep playing at the level that you are. And hopefully you can start looking like a decent player. And I think once we see that, i got no doubt on that. I think you can be more consistent in the way you go about it and the way that you you're hungry for success because he's been at the club um since the end of 2015 
the 2016 to 2021. Yeah, he's been a really good contributor to the Collingwood Football Club. And I think that you have to accept that as much as anything. Um, but I love him. I really do. Like, he, he's one of the guys that, I, you know, when I can talk to him, I'll talk to him. Um, so, I think that might do for that. I think there's so much else I can say on Jeremy. I think... Compared to playing, I think, 21 games from eight, like eight games compared to four, um, unfortunately, he injured his knee last year, see, I can't be too harsh on him for that as well because that was the Giants game when he got injured, so um, at least he didn't get injured in the Giants game, but... Let me know what you think, guys, um, Collingwood fans and and AFL people. Um, am I soft? Am I thinking he should be less? Let me know. But until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Go to the pies, and I'll see you back in another video as well. Bye for now.